Hi, I'm Chad Hubner. And I'm Sarah Hubner with Edina Realty. And today we are going to be talking about homeowners associations, specifically as they relate to townhomes in our example today. And a lot of people may say, well, what does a homeowners association do? What does that mean? Well, quite a bit. If you are look, if you are a buyer looking to purchase a home in a townhome community with a homeowners association, there are certain things you need to know. And if you are a seller who is selling a property in one of these communities, you have to know something as well. Uh, for starters, Let's just start at the top. There is a form called the Resale Disclosure Certificate. This is a form that a seller is required to order from the HOA management company, and that is completed by somebody at the Homeowners Association, and that is completed and then provided back to the seller, and the seller is required by law to provide that to the buyer. The buyer is also given copies of the rules and regulations that regulate that community, everything from the rules and regs, bylaws, covenants, declarations, um, declarations uh, the budget and financials, meeting minutes, all of those are components that go in with this resale disclosure. And the buyer is given 10 days by Minnesota law to review these documents. The seller cannot require that a buyer waive that. Yeah, and, and this is a very important piece of a transaction for yeah. a buyer um, looking to buy in an, in a, into an association. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, things may get overlooked um, within those documents. And I think it's important to, to really take your time, utilize those 10 days and really read what's going on with that association. Mm -hmm. um, there are, there, there's a lot of pros and there are some cons with association living. And this is very important that you understand what you're getting into. Um, just a couple examples, um, exterior maintenance. Um, a lot of associations have exterior maintenance, not all. So you still have to look at that. And, and keep in mind too, you know, when, when a home is on the market listed on the MLS, most of the time it's very accurate on what it's covered, uh, what, what the association covers in the MLS. But sometimes things are not uh, anything negative, but sometimes something may not be put on there very specifically if, if windows are covered, if- the Roof is covered. Roof is covered. At, yeah. at, at what point in time does uh, the shoveling of the snow happen? Sometimes associations don't shovel unless there's two inches of snow. So those are the little things like that that mm -hmm. it's important just to know to mm -hmm. see you're very aware as a buyer. And one of the things too I always say to a, to a buyer is if you have pets, it's important to know what the restrictions are. Some associations have restrictions on the number. There's a weight restriction or a breed restriction. So it's important to know that. Additionally, some people have campers, boats, uh, cars, work, work vehicles, work yeah. vehicles, things that they want to leave in a driveway. It's important to know if the association will allow those things to be there or if they need to be moved or aren't allowed to be parked there ever, what the rules and regulations are surrounding that. And rental requirements. And rental requirements More too. More restrictions yeah. for summer maybe. And you that's know, a very important It piece. is important. Yeah. Sometimes an association will say you have to live as an, as an owner occupant for one year before you can rent it. And some HOAs have no restrictions and others don't provide for any rentals at all. So it's important to know what you're buying. Yep. And I think the key to this too is, is as a seller, um, knowing what your what your responsibilities are is to re, is to uh, offer the resale disclosure package, which okay. us as agents we will uh, let you know how to go about that process. But it is a seller responsibility to disclose that. Um, and as a buyer, our advice: really take your time and ask questions. Um, you know, we, you can talk to the other agent who can ask the seller. You can call into the association if they'll answer your questions. Just very important to ask questions if you have specific needs um, and requests because once. Once you have that 10 days up, once you move into the property, That's you, you are abiding by those rules of the association yeah. and it's something that you have to live with. I actually encourage buyers to call the HOA versus talking to the seller and then the seller yeah. gets, what if the seller doesn't know or maybe provides inaccurate information unknowingly, it's just best for the buyer to get their specific questions with all the nuances that are included in that and getting those answers directly from the association. So, And if you have any questions, if you are currently living in an association and you're looking at selling, um, we are very experienced in selling uh, townhomes and association living. Um, it can yeah. kind of guide you through that process. And if you're looking to buy, uh, we have extensive uh, experience looking through uh, or working with a buyer uh, with the association yeah. living. Yeah. So. Thank you for watching our video today. If we can address any specific questions for you, please let us know and have a great day.